15 Travel Essentials for Women What to Bring Being a minimalist traveler, the fewer things I need to bring with me the better. Whether I'm going on a week-long international trip or just a weekend getaway, there are a couple of essential items that I always carry with me. A great carry-on bag Ever been told at the check-in desk that you need to check your carry-on sized rolling bag? Or how about having to run through an airport to try to make a connecting flight? Ever traveled to a place with cobblestone sidewalks where it's impossible to roll your bag along? After encountering each of these annoyances, I realized the best solution was to pack lighter and in a vessel that I could easily carry. For short trips, I pack everything in my Longchamps Le Pliegue large tote. If the retail price is too steep, they can often be found in thrift stores and second-hand sites, Poshmark, Mercury, etc. For longer trips, I carry my Adidas Stadium backpack, comfortable straps and I love the placement of the pockets. It doesn't have a place for a laptop, but since I carry mine in a protected sleeve I just pack it closest to my back and build on top of it. Bonus, traveling with carry-on only luggage can result in lighter airfare. Minimalist wallet, RFID blocking. If you're like me, your at-home wallet is big, bulky, and would be impractical to bring on vacation. Therefore, I have a minimalist wallet that is slightly larger than a credit card and is about as thick as 10 cards stacked together. Plus it's made of RFID blocking material. Although there are mixed reviews on electronic pickpocketing, why not get the one with a little extra security if the cost is similar? Phone or Kindle and Chargers my phone has replaced so many other items on my old packing list that my bag is at least 10 pounds lighter. No longer do I need to carry a separate video player, books, camera, or music player. Now I just make sure that my phone is fully charged, and I have at least one charger with me. Being that I love to read, I've recently invested in an e-reader the blue light from my phone will occasionally give me a headache after staring too long. With just these two items, all my entertainment needs are covered. Battery Backup Although many airports are adding more and more outlets in waiting areas, there's no guarantee you'll get one. You also don't want to fall victim to a new airport prank. What if you're on a hop-on, hop-off tour bus with a dwindling battery? I'm always surprised by just how quickly I can drain my phone battery while on vacation, I use my phone to take pictures, so I shouldn't be too surprised. Therefore I've started carrying a battery backup with me at all times. You can get these in all shapes and sizes. I opted for one that can charge my phone at least twice because my husband normally has to use it too. If you decide to just opt for smart luggage, make sure your carry-on is approved by your airline. A great dressy outfit. I have multiple dressy outfits, but I don't actually feel comfortable in all of them. If you don't feel comfortable in something, it tends to show in how you present yourself. While on vacation you need at least one outfit that you feel great and look great in. You don't want to miss out on a nice restaurant because all you brought with you were t-shirts and running shorts, or look back on pictures to see yourself hunched because you were not comfortable in the top you were wearing. Those pictures just remind me how uncomfortable I was rather than all the fun I was having. Comfortable walking shoes. I walk a lot while on vacation. Therefore, I bring shoes I know my feet will be comfortable in. At max I try to bring only three pairs of shoes with me to help cut down on my packing, wear one, pack two, one pair of comfortable walking shoes that go with almost every outfit, a pair of flip-flops and one miscellaneous pair of shoes depending on where I'm going, wedding heels, somewhere cold boots, etc. Out of these three categories, flip-flops or a nice pair of comfortable walking sandals are the ones I need to have for every trip. Flip-flops are easy to go through security lines at the airport, can double as bedroom shoes around hotel rooms, and I can normally walk a couple of miles in my reef sandals without my feet starting to hurt. Blanket scarf or cardigan. Even if you are going somewhere warm, it can get cold in airplanes, restaurants, cars, etc. Blanket scarves or a cardigan are great options because they don't take up very much space. Plus if you're not cold, you can ball this up and use it as a pillow. 
you can be even more minimalist and choose even more versatile clothing. Wisps or oral care. That feeling of waking up after a three-hour plane ride and knowing you're about to meet your family, or worse a customer, potential employer, etc., and all you can taste is stale coffee and morning breath. It's not how anyone wants to be greeted. If you know that can't get to your toothbrush and toothpaste quickly, just make sure you have a couple of wisps handy to quickly rinse out your mouth. Shout wipes or tide pens. Sometimes stains are unavoidable one minute you're holding your coffee and the next minute your plane hits a patch of turbulence. Luckily, shout wipes or tide pens help to take out the majority, or all, of the stain and take up virtually no space in your luggage. As a minimalist packer, these can be a lifesaver because I will sometimes wash a shirt in the hotel bathroom to rewear later in the trip. Medicine or first aid. Yes, you can find medicine all over the world, but sometimes you are not close to a convenience store or they don't have the brand that you know works for you. Therefore, I always like to have a travel-sized tube filled with the medicine I take on a normal basis Midol, heartburn tablets, and low-dose aspirin. I also like to keep a couple of band-aids on hand just in case. Feminine Care Products Similar to medicine, sometimes there's just no place around you that has what you need when Mother Nature comes calling. Instead of spending the day in your hotel room on your honeymoon because you forgot tampons or the hotel store just ran out and there are no convenience stores nearby, you could be enjoying the beach because you had the forethought to think that maybe it might come early this month. Plus if you always carry these around, you will one day be some other girl's hero, helping her out in her time of need. Minimalist Makeup or Toiletry Bag This is one of the items that can really weigh down your luggage, but can be made so much lighter with just a simple question what do I actually use while traveling? My answer is not much. Yes, those new eyeshadow palettes may look like a must, but I'd rather use items that I know I love. Normally my toiletry bag just includes, toothbrush toothpaste, deodorant, two tubes of liquid eyeshadow, I prefer Senegin's Shadow Sense in Candlelight and Mulberry, Mascara, Two Faced Better Than Sex, Poreless Primer, Elf, Hairbrush, and a Razor. I normally just use soap and a washcloth to wash my face and use the shampoo and conditioner offered in the hotel. Always check this before traveling though as many hotels are doing away with many toiletries. Good headphones and headphone splitter. Traveling is a perfect time to catch up on shows or movies, unless you're driving. Instead of having to share earbuds with your significant other, it's always a good idea to bring a headphone splitter along. That way, you can enjoy the same movie on your phone without being limited to only one earbud. Carrying around your own headphones allows you to skip having to pay for those cheap plastic ones on planes or use the little earbuds that poke the inside of your ear and usually end up falling out on tour buses. Snack or water bottle It's always a good idea to have a healthy snack option readily available for you or your significant other while traveling. Being hangry, hungry angry, while having to wait for some unknown reason for an hour on the tarmac is just no fun. Be sure to also carry around a water bottle, this will need to be empty when going through airport security. Thankfully many airports are reinventing airport food, and it looks like the San Francisco airport is one of those at the forefront. Directions There is nothing worse than stepping off a plane and not knowing where to go. Thankfully there are new apps that can help you find your way to rental car locations, taxis, or public transport. It's also a good idea to look at these before leaving if you plan to keep your phone on airplane mode during your trip.